Good day, everyone. I'm glad that you are there, and I'm happy to be here as well. Uh, in call for our topic, the heart. Okay? Uh, the heart is an organ that helps in pumping blood, that carries oxygen, nutrients, and waste materials around our body. Okay? Uh, what are we going to be doing in this class today? Number one, we want to define the heart. Number two, we want to trace quickly the basic evolution of the heart in vertebrates. Then we want to describe the structure of the mammalian heart. Then we want to explain briefly how the heart works. Uh, from that, the major component of circulatory system, I need to mention that is number one. We have three major. Number one, we have the heart, which is the pumping organ, like pumping machine, a uh, machine in your house. We have the blood vessels, in which this blood, uh, this blood is transported. Then we have the blood itself, which is a liquid tissue that help in transporting materials around our body system. Uh, quickly, the heart is a muscular organ in most animals, which pumps blood through the blood vessels to the circulatory system. Okay, then number two, uh, evolution of the heart in vertebrates. In fishes, we have two chambers in their heart. In frogs, we have three. In reptiles, we have three, but with many auxiliaries. Then in birds, in crocodile, and in mama, we have four chambers. Okay, and they are specific. All right, um, from there we have, just to show you, the chambers that we have in the heart. Number one, we can say we have, if you face it like this, you name, this is the left. So here we have left auricle and left ventricle. Here we have right auricle and right ventricle. All right? Then from there, we can quickly show again that um, the part that we have. The largest blood vessels in our body is the aorta. It carries blood away from the heart to every organ in our body system. Then we have the largest vein is vena cava. Vena cava. They also return blood from the body back to the heart. Then from there, we can picture that quickly. This is a pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. Pulmonary veins returns blood from the lungs back to the heart. This is the left atrium or auricle. Mitral valve or bicuspid valve. We are saying the same thing. Don't forget that, please. Then we have chaotic valve. Uh, left, like I said, like ventricle. Then we have septum. Septum is a major muscle that separates our heart into two halves. To the left, sorry, to the right hand side and to the left hand side. Okay? Again, to the right hand side, to the left hand side. Please, when you are labeling, don't face like this to label. Okay, it's wrong. This one is not right in labeling. This is your right in labeling. This is your left. Don't forget that. Then we have the right atrium, then we have tricuspid valve. Please let me say this to you, don't forget that. This valve and this valve, the two together are called, we refer to the two together as atrioventricular valve. I repeat myself. Your bicuspid and tricuspid together are referred to as atrioventricular valve. Please don't forget that. Then, um, lastly, this is a major part that we have in this particular art. Other area that have been labeled. Please go on in the Google Classroom, do the labeling, draw yourself. Okay, you can practice that very well. Draw that. You may not draw this as it were because it may be a bit complex for you. But there are simpler ones we have done in classes. You can go back to them, practice and draw and label properly. I wish you good day as we stay in this class. Let's learn more in our Google Classroom. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much.